sufficient for thee. Praise God. I want to speak to the church today on this theme that ministered to me this week. My grace is sufficient for thee. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. First let me greet the spirit of truth. Praise God the comforter. Let me greet our pastor, Pastor Julius Edwards, Evangelist O'Reynolds, we want to greet Evangelist Jones in our midst today. Praise God all the workers and saints and Zoom and all the saints in the house of God today. Glory to God, accent greetings. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Accept holy and wonderful greetings this afternoon in the matchless name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God. I'm going to read Briefly from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 1, 10. Pray. And it reads thus. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth such and one caught up to the third heaven and i knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell god knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to utter of such and one will i glory Yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. Bless it. For though I desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ, hallelujah, may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Praise God. I hear that portion of the reading of words praise god everyone looks weary and tired praise god and i promise you i won't be long praise god you know but does this man sound familiar about who we study today praise the name of the lord the apostle paul bless the name of the lord praise god and it is a coincidence you know that i chose this praise god and since we have went over most of his life story Bless the name of the Lord. You know, from when he was called by God. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, and he experienced the great transformation. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God because we know that he was zealous for God, but according to his own wisdom, according to his own knowledge. Bless the name of the Lord. But the day Glory be to God, and he began to walk in the straight 
straight and narrow way. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. In us are not His way anymore. But now it becomes God's way. Glory be to God. I want God's way to be my way. As I journey here below. For there is no other highway that a child of God must go. Bless the name. You must drop in on the highway. Glory to God on the highway. Was the way of destruction. Bless the name of the Lord. In on the highway that it was drawn, it was to persecute the saints of the living God. The highway that it was trodden was to destroy the people. Amen. Bless his holy name. Glory be to God. Praise God. You know, so there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof is the way of death. Bless his name. Bless his name. So he came in contact with the master. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Bless the name of the Lord. You know the response came to him? I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Bless the name of the Lord and it is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Bless his holy name. But now Saul arise. Go to it, go into the city. Bless the name of the Lord. For there I will cause you to see again. Bless the name of the Lord. There I will cause the scale to fall from your eyes. Glory be to God. You bless his holy name. I see your zeal, hallelujah. I see your knowledge. Glory be to God. I see how zealous you are for the work of God. But glory be to God, it's time for a transformation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God because the way that you were trodden, it was according to your wisdom, it was according to your understanding. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. But now the light has shown upon you. Amen. Jesus declared that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now Saul become poor. Glory be to God was about to declare what he had seen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And he came. And he preached Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. And he started the true fight. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. He started to walk the straight and narrow way. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. You know the word of God declares that broad is the way that leadeth unto destruction. Amen. But narrow and straight is the path that leadeth unto eternal life. And only a few shall find it. Bless his holy. That they may ride to the tree of life. Hallelujah. And may enter in through the gates of the city. Bless the name of the Lord. So no, Paul has the right to the tree of life. Bless the name of the Lord because he began to walk in the commandments of God. He began to walk in the statutes of God. He began to follow the direction of God. Bless his holy name. Glory be to God. So as he continued to travel his journey. Glory to God. One night. It seemed like he appeared into a vision. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. He said he saw unspeakable things. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. He said great revelations was revealed unto him. Amen. Glory be to God. No Paul. Someone would say was in the third heavens. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. He said the things that he saw and heard, his mouth was not able to utter them. Bless the name of the Lord. This alone will cause someone to boast. This alone will cause someone to get high. Praise God, you went in the third heavens. Great revelations was revealed. Bless the name of the Lord. You saw and speak of the things. Bless the name. Sacrifice them 
added to his blood. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. he was so caught up that he wasn't sure if he was in the body that he was not in the body because he was such you know in that spiritual realm bless the name of the Lord and when he came back to himself bless the name of the Lord he said how that he was caught up into paradise and he heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to utter of such one will I glory yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmities. Bless the name of the Lord. This is such a powerful statement, church of God. Praise God because the natural man would want to boast of what he see. The natural man would want to boast of what he heard. But he said, therefore, I will glory in my infirmities. Bless the name of the Lord, church. Bless the name of the Lord, church. Bless the name of the Lord. He said, for though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth. Praise God. You know, the same apostle declares, not I, my church of God. Praise God, I'm just a fresh. Praise God, I'm just a worm. Hallelujah. But glory. sufficient for thee. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Praise God and one would see him. You know as a mighty man of valor as we look at him. The giant of the New Testament. Bless the name of the Lord. He was called to bear his name before the Gentiles. He was called to bear his name before kings. So this mighty man of valor hallelujah that saw unspeakable things heard unspeakable things bless the name of the Lord seemed like he was going through a rough time bless the name of the Lord you know one would want to condemn the man of God how does he say he's a man of God hallelujah but he's still complaining about Satan the messenger prophet in his body bless the name I saw the Lord thrice. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. But let me back up a little bit. He said, Lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me, or that which he heareth of me. Praise God, unless I should be exalted above measure to the abundance of revelation, there was given to me a thorn in my flesh. Has anyone ever experienced a thorn today? I said, Church of God, have you ever experienced a thorn in your flesh today? Bless the name of the Lord. So sometimes when we are passing through the valley of Vega, bless the name of the Lord. It is God who placed us in the valley. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The 
messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. In other words, he wants to put me under humility. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. He wants to try me. Hallelujah. He wants to test me. Bless the name. of the Lord. Guys, he saw the Lord. One day fasting, Lord, remove this thorn so I can be holy. Lord, remove this thorn so I can sing as I want to sing. Lord, remove this thorn so I can preach as I want to preach. Lord, remove this thorn so I can jump how I want to jump. This thorn is in my flesh. is in my flesh. Hallelujah. I don't know what the thought is today. Hallelujah. But the thought in your flesh that keeps on hindering you. And you have cried out, Lord, remove the star. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can feel it sticking in my side, Lord. Oh, 
you. Mighty can stop you. Hallelujah. I said, I fast of all in this week. And I feel so good. I think I'm over it. But next week, there goes the burn. Hallelujah. That keeps on hindering me. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. So the third time he went. Hallelujah. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly will I rather glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my infirmities. rest upon me hallelujah so church of God we need to understand the purpose of the thorn and we need to understand that he doesn't need to remove the thorns what we need to understand today is that his grace hallelujah the gift from God the unmerited favor of God bless his holy name the love of God hallelujah is able to keep us church of God shout he's able to keep me his grace is able to keep me his grace is able to keep me hallelujah after all this life is over mighty Kasavia and my labor here is ended and I climb upon the mountain top so tall looking all over the city that the Savior is preparing give me grace Lord hallelujah Zerubbabel and the people of God when they were rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem hallelujah they were faced with great opposition hallelujah I said sometimes we are faced with grace adversity great adversities hallelujah that sometimes we feel like we are going to go under but church of God we will not go under because his grace is sufficient hallelujah fuck you Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory be to God. So Zerubbabel understood that. He said, you know, when the word of God came to him, you know, he said he saw a candlestick. And on top of that candlestick was a ball. Praise God. And several pipes were connected to that ball. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, and when he came out of the vision, he said, Son of man, do you understand what that means? He said, no, I don't understand. Hallelujah. He said, then the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel. That is not by might. That is not by power. But it's by my spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And he shall bring forth that headstone. Crying grace. Grace. Grace unto it. Hallelujah. I will not yield. I will not yield. I shall be free. Sinners no more reign over me. God's grace is sufficient to keep me. Before I yield, I will die. Therefore, most gladly, will I glory in my infirmity that the power of God may rest upon me. Do we want the power of God to rest upon your church? Do you want the power of God to rest upon you? shall come out as pure gold. The thorns are there for a reason. Bless the name of the Lord. I said I will not burn anymore of the thorns because I understood that if I want the power of God to rest on me I will most gladly glory in my infirmity. Bless the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord! Worship the Lord! Worship the Lord! Hallelujah! Bless the name of the Lord. I promise you I wouldn't be long today. But His grace is 
sufficient to keep me before I yield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I understood that my thorns are for a reason. That I will get down at midnight. Hallelujah. And I will see the face of the Lord. And when I began to see the face of God, that the power of God will rest upon me. God bless you. God keep you. I shall not yield. I shall not yield.